Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. Really quickly, please hit that subscribe button below. That's how my channel grows. And I really am, you know, pushing to make my channel grow even bigger and beyond where it is now. So hit that subscribe button, share videos, all that kind of stuff. I totally appreciate it. Thank you guys. So the reason we're all here today is to learn more about mixing vocals. This is one of the most challenging things for most beginning engineers. And like I wrote in the title, this is a, a, an advanced lesson for beginner engineers. Okay, so if you're an advanced audio engineer, you could probably just skip this video today. <laughs> but maybe there's something valuable in it for you, so keep watching. Um, we're going to be talking about leveling, or what's called the vocal ride in the biz here. Um, and that is really just like note by note going through the vocal performance and using the volume automation, uh, attenuating those peaks and valleys in the volume to something where it's a little bit more even across the board. So there's a couple of things that I should say at the beginning. This is sort of the last step of mixing vocals, okay? So beginning with uh, the process should begin with when your singer is singing that they have good microphone technique meaning that when they're singing loud notes that they get away from the microphone and when they're singing quieter notes that they're closer to the microphone that's basic uh vocal technique 101 for singing in the studio maybe one day i'll make a video about that too but super valuable for anybody out there trying to figure out how to get great sounding vocals, okay? So you've got a good vocal performance with good microphone technique, then you've mixed it, you got your EQ done, you've got your compression done. So this pretty much I consider the very last step of mixing vocals. And like I said, we're just gonna go through and listen for peaks and valleys um, in the performances of the vocalists and we'll try to fix those and even them out. So a song that I'm working on uh, for a client, please remember guys, I do mix for you guys. I I mix, I play, check out the details on my mixing inquiry page at GarageBand and beyond if you're interested in having me mix your music or master. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm, uh, this is a song that I'm just doing for somebody. And so let's just play. This is the track without any automation. This is the one with automation. Um, so we're just going to listen really quickly and I'm going to show you what I did. Talk much, but you don't say a love. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank. Diamond ring and a nice and bad And now you try to get away with my eye Okay, so we're just going to be covering that little section of the song. Oh, and definitely have headphones on uh, for this video. This is a very subtle thing um, that, you know, the average listener probably doesn't really truly appreciate as much as an engineer would, but this is indeed one of the finer points of mixing vocals. Um, so get your headphones on. You'll hear the difference here, and I'm just going to play. This is the one that I've done so far. It's not perfect, but uh, we're super close. Talk much, but you don't say a love. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank. You got a diamond ring and a nice and bad. You try to get away with my eye. I'll play the one without it again just so you can hear it. Talk much, but you don't say a love. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank. You got so that point right there, that low point, is a really good example of what I'm talking about. Talk much, but you don't say a love. Looks sincere, but you don't sound so frank again. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to talk about. So we're going to look at this vocal right here, the one that I haven't done yet. And um, we're just going to expand the view a little bit here so we can see it more often or <laughs> more often <laughs> so we can see more of it. Um, so basically, as you can see on this one above, this is, you know, like I said, the work I have already done. I have brought up the, the low points and brought down the high points. And it's a really easy thing to see on the waveform when you're looking at it, okay? So obviously, like, this is a high point, this is a very low point, high point, low point, high point, low point, right? So this is really going to be up to you having a good set of headphones, a great set of ears for listening. This is something I personally like to do under headphones because it is such a subtle thing. Um, and you can totally overdo this, and it's harder to hear. Uh, when you overdo it in monitors, I think. Some, I mean, if it's super overdone, it's easy to hear in your monitors, but a good set of headphones. Um, I've already made a video about these headphones. Uh, check it out. These are the Avantone Mix phones. These things are phenomenally good, you guys. These are really, really great. They've become an invaluable part of my mixing process. The Mix phones are sweet. Anyway, 
let's talk about it. Let's, let's just do it, okay? So one thing you can see here is that, in fact, like I didn't catch this particular moment because I just started at a lower volume, which was negative 5.5 dB. So I don't really have to do anything. And in fact, I believe, yeah, we're pretty much there anyway. Let's just go in here. Uh, negative 5.5, just so we're at the same point there. Okay, so here we go. So we know this is a lower moment, and we know this is, or this is a higher moment, so we're going to keep that there. Here's a low moment. I wish this wasn't here. So this, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> um, okay, we'll get rid of that so I can just do it like this. And so I'm going to do this. Oops, not like that. I'm going to do this. And if anybody's curious about like the finer... Um, things of automating your volumes. I have also made a video about that. I think it was like two videos ago, so check that out. Um, but yeah, using these points, there's lots of different ways you can do these things. So uh, let's just listen to this first passage again. Talk much, but you don't say a lot. Right? Okay, so let's turn that off just so you can hear it. Talk much, but you don't say a lot. Right? So on the word a lot, that's what you should be listening for. Talk much, but you don't say a lot. Right, so in that case, I think that was probably too much. Um, so yeah, in fact, we were up like a full 5 dB, so that's quite a bit. Um, something more like this, probably better, like a 2 dB. Talk much, but you don't say a lot. Right, there you go. That sounds like a natural move in the studio, and you can still hear the words. Okay, so we're going to move on to the second passage. Um, you look sincere, but you don't sound so frank. Okay, so this is a good example. We have this whole thing right here, okay? So I'm going to drop four points. One, one, two, three, four. I'm going to grab this middle bar. Bam. I'm just going to bring the whole thing up. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank, you got Okay, so this sounded pretty good. Maybe it's a touch high. And then I'm just going to grab this one point because I think the end was a little low. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank, you got Okay, so Frank is a little on the extra low side, so we're just gonna grab that. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank, you got See, there you go. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Here, let's turn it off. Uh, so here's the automation off. You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank, you got Okay, so even when it's off, it sounds like something's wrong, right? You look sincere, but you don't sound so frank, you got that's it, you guys. I couldn't think of a better passage just to show an example of how powerful this is. So um, let's move forward. Let's just keep doing this phrase until we're done, just so you guys have stuff to look at. A diamond ring and a nice let's listen to that in relation to the one before it. I feel like that's just a whole, well, maybe like one or two dB low. So we're going to do this slowly. Come on, boy. <laughs> there we go. 4.2. I can live with that. Don't sound so frank. You got a diamond ring and a nice and bad. And now you try to get away with my eyes. We can grab this little eye. Uh, is that right there? We'll grab that just so it's a little bit more interesting. Now you try to get away with my eyes. Actually, let's get it at the beginning of the word and we'll stretch this to the left here. And now you try to get away with my eyes. See what I mean? And that was probably a little bit on the accentuated idea or side of things. But this is basically it, you guys. It's it's not like rocket science. Now you try to get away with my eyes. There we go. That sounds a little better. So that's the process. Now you would just go through you know, it is a little painstaking and there are, you know, like some people made like uh, there are third party plugins that you can buy to do this. Um, but if you're cheap like me and you don't feel like spending extra money, um, but you realize that with just a little bit of time and patience, you can do it. Um, just use the automated volume section of GarageBand and fine tune those volume points in your vocal. And I promise you guys, this is probably one of the most overlooked and most powerful things you can do to your vocal track to make it sound like a professional sounding vocal track. Those peaks and valleys, you know, a compressor can a compressor or two, depending on how you're running your vocals, um, they can, you know, they can only do so much as far as 
pulling those peaks out and bringing the valleys up. A compressor can a compressor can only do so much. So that is where this the vocal ride comes in. This is the fine tuning. This is the fine tooth comb. You do this to your vocal performances, and I promise you promise you they're going to sound better than they've ever sounded before the nice thing about this technique too is like even if you have older songs that you weren't happy with this is a simple thing you don't have to go in and change your eqs you don't have to go in and change compression or anything you just change this so if you have older mixes that you didn't like the vocals on you might try going back and hitting it uh, going over it and doing a vocal ride and just you know re-examining that take and seeing if maybe a simple vocal ride is the thing to make it sound so nice okay so you guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video for today i hope you like my new camera i got a nice uh new little logitech webcam and i think it's looking pretty sweet i was a little tired on my mac camera looking all grainy so new camera yay happy day anyway you guys thank you so much for subscribing and watching i truly appreciate your support it's a uh, you know really really awesome and you know i have a patreon page if anybody wants to go the extra mile helping support the channel and i have hundreds and hundreds of videos so please check them out all of the videos that i I've made are pretty cool I think some of them are not that great but other ones are really great <laughs> I've been around and doing it for a long time you'll watch the quality change over the years here so you guys have a great day I'll talk to you later hope you're well peace um but super <laughs> shit